welcome back in JoTutorial. Today, I will show you how to add a conversion to your tracking links. To do this, you just have to click on conversion, then here you can add a new conversion code. So for example, just put the name, I will write test one, two, three. Here you can write the notes. This is to enable postback URL, but we will see this in, in a more advanced tutorials. Now we have two choices, conversion code, to create a conversion code and get to output, or a tracking pixel. This is just a, an image of one pixel that you can place in a web page or in a mail to track how many times this page is being viewed or the email opened. But today I will show you how to add a conversion code. Okay, we just type the name and then click on save. Okay, now you can see test one, two, three. You just have to click on the conversion and then click on edit conversion. Okay, here you can see again your name, your notes. You can uh, type a conversion value for every conversion, a commission if you have uh, athletes, and you can choose parameter. You can also choose like 15 parameter, one and 14 parameter to have more, to get more info to infos to your conversions. Here you can find the conversion code snippet and now I will show you how to add the conversion code snippet to, for example, uh, a page with the, the tag manager that is an easy way also for, uh, for the non-skilled users. You just have to click on copy code. Okay, this is copied. Now you just need to go in your Google Tag Manager. If you don't know, if you don't know how to use it, I will suggest you to see the Google tutorial. It's very easy and will make your life easier. Okay, now I, for example, in this uh, in this video, I will show you how to add a conversion code to a specific page. You just have to. No, sorry. You just have to click on trigger and then select a new trigger. Okay. Here I have already created a, a test. What, what do you have to, to select? You just have to select page view and not all the page view of your website, but just some page views. I selected page URL equals to my website. Okay, I've already clicked on save. So this is the trigger. Now I will add a tag. Okay. To add the tag configuration, I just click here. Then I click on custom HTML. And here I paste my snippet. Okay. And then I select the trigger. The trigger is the trigger that I've created before. So when a user view my page after clicking on the tracking link that has associated the conversion, it uh, will make a plus one in my JTRL dashboard. Okay, so I just have to click on save. I give a name, conversion, URL and then I click on save. Okay. This is just a test, but when you select a new uh, a new tag, I will I'll uh, I always suggest you to select to click on preview, go in your uh, in the page you have associated the tag and uh, and uh, see control if uh, everything is okay, and then click on submit. Okay, go back in JoTurel. 
we just have edited the conversion code. So now we click on save. Here you can see if you have uh, associated some links to this conversion. Now we don't have any links associated. So we'll go back in project. We open the project. We open a tracking link, for example, this one. And then we click on conversions. Okay, here you can connect the conversion codes to your tracking link and combine one or more conversion codes, up to five. Here, we just have to add our conversion code and click on save. Okay, this is done. Just some infos for, uh, for you. Uh, the, by default, the conversion code, the conversion um, snippet is selected to be active for 30 days. But you can choose and select the, the period of time that is better for you. Okay, I have nothing to add to this tutorial. So see you in the next one. Bye-bye.